Heading back to the uh, Thunder Line, we are looking at this as being really the, the opening of the m M&M Auto Group Country Mega Ticket Series, along with Lady Annabellum and Billy Currington coming to Thunder Country. We're saying good morning to Joe Nichols. Joe, how are you? Man, I'm doing great. How are you doing today? We're doing well. Very excited. The m M&M Auto Group Country Mega Tickets go on sale in, in just a, a short period of time here at Bethelwood Center for the Arts. What a lineup this year. We're thrilled that you're part of the uh, the opening show, Sunday, June 1st. You're coming to Thunder Country. You're coming to the original site of the 1969 Woodstock Festival, Bethel Woods. Right on, man. I didn't know that. So. Yeah, you are. You're going to you're gonna be, as we say, on hallowed ground. Um, and again, uh, what a beautiful facility this is. Can't wait till you get a chance to see it. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Always uh, a good time to come up that way. I appreciate y'all having me back in New York. And uh, like I said, I, I, I didn't know that that's the original home of Woodstock. It'll be it'll be an honor. Well, there you go. We look forward to uh, to you being here with Lady Annabelle and Billy Currington. And first of all, congratulations on the uh, success of Sunny and Seventy Five. Oh, thank you, man. It was a big year for us last year. You know, two thousand thirteen was a very good building year, and and uh, of course it sets us up for a, for a, you know a very pleasant two thousand fourteen. Uh, we got some good momentum going with all our country radio friends, and and uh, the fans are are kind of starting to be aware of us again, you know, and kind of getting involved and, and reacting to the music we're making. So um, all those all those things are, are a very big part of uh, what we're continuing to do, to, we're continuing to try to do. And, of course, getting the Lady Antebellum tour along with Billy Currington is, is a big deal for us, and, and uh, happy to come up your way with that. We're looking forward to it. Now, of course, talking about June 1st, uh, kicking off the Eminem Auto Group Country Mega Ticket Series. What are you going to be doing um, up until from from now and until we get into the be uh, yeah actually the end of spring, beginning of summer? Well, man, we're we're working our tails off, you know, with with our uh, with our new single. Yeah, it's uh, it just came out this past Monday, and and uh, it's doing really well. You know, got a lot of buzz around the song, you know, especially coming off the success of Sunny Seventy Five, and and uh, you know, we're just we're just touring right now. We're we're kind of out of the production of new album mode, you know, so we're, we're able to relax a little bit as far as the studio goes. So, uh, you know, this, this year becomes just more of a, of a get out there and, and, and do every show we possibly can do and, and uh, keep the success going. All right. Well, all the best with that. And uh, we, we have to say congratulations. Uh, I feel like it's a morning of congratulations yeah. this morning, but we have to say congratulations uh, to you. You're, you're going to uh, add a little, uh, a little one to the family this year. That's right. Yeah, we're uh, we're pregnant again with our with another little girl, and and uh, you know we'll, they'll be right at uh, a little over two two years apart, and uh, we're excited. You know, we're prepping the house again and and trying to to get as much sleep as possible because you know that first uh, <laughs> first about eight weeks it's just impossible to sleep. So we're uh, we're excited though, man. We're, we're thrilled to, to have our, our our baby Dylan, and uh, and of course with 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 another one on the way, you know we we're just that much more blessed. So. It's a great household. Like I said, we're just trying to maintain good sleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the best to you. Hey, uh, you had you know you, you had mentioned um, having a break from from production time and and getting out on the road. Are you finding after all these years that one being performing versus two being in the studio producing is one? Um, you know, do you enjoy one more than the other after all these years? You know, I think they're both they're both thrilling in their own separate kind of way. You know, uh, playing a, a show is a very instant gratification kind of feeling. It's a, uh, it kind of puts you on cloud nine, a, a euphoric phase for that day and, and for even days afterwards. Uh, but the studio is kind of like it's kind of like making a baby. <laughs> you know, it's kind of <laughs> like you you cultivate it and you and you come along and all of a sudden at the end of you know ten months you have this uh, you have this newborn that you're just you know extremely proud of and. And hope you don't screw up. So it's, uh, <laughs> those, that's how it's kind of different. But um, you know, the combination of the two at the same time can be really challenging, and, can, and it can really affect both uh, each other. So it's it's um, it's always good to have that separation of the two because, like I said, when they when they bleed into each other, it, it makes uh, you know it makes for a hard schedule to kind of keep up with. Yeah, I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> Talking with Joe Nichols on the Thunder Line, of course, coming to Thunder Country on Sunday, June 1st, with Lady Annabellum and Billy Currington kicking off the Eminem Auto Group Country Mega Ticket Series at Bethelwood Center for the Arts. Um, are you going to be in Nashville for CRS next month? 
I will be. Yeah, I just uh, learned today that we're going to be in there for several events, uh, starting, I guess, Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. So we'll be in uh, the uh, the entire time. Great. I have bad news for you. This year, unfortunately, <laughs> Semerano is coming down to CRS with me, and we're going to be doing it. We're going to be broadcasting our show live uh, from uh, the Renaissance as part of CRS. And then uh, Semerano and I are going to be emceeing the Billy Block show on Tuesday night. Of course, uh, uh, Billy Block. Uh, has Thunder Country Night. It's going to be the third year that we've been able to do that, so we're really looking forward to that, but hopefully we'll get a chance to run into you uh, during CRS. Always an exciting time, and we talked to a lot of the younger artists. As a matter of fact, the gentleman who uh, I know he works with uh, some of your band members, Ryan Brochier, who's become a good yeah. friend. Yeah, a good friend of Thunder 102. Um, we talked to Ryan, and we talked to a lot of um, new artists. We call it our starting to rumble artist, and we talked to them with their impression of CRS, but you, a seasoned country music superstar, it seems like CRS is still exciting to you as well, is it not? Yeah, you know, for the most part, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot different. Uh, I think, you know, when my when I first started, you know, I was in my early twenties. It was kind of a eyes wide open, and by the end of the night, eyes wide red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, but it, but nowadays, it, it's more of a an appreciation for old friends. You know, people that. I've Come to know over the past uh, 11, 12 years, uh, and it's it's. I'm I'm thankful to, to still kind of be relevant in those days. You know, people. I get the feeling people sometimes are really genuinely excited to see me, and, and vice versa. I'm genuinely excited to see my friends that I've made over the years. So, uh, a little bit different experience, still the same excitement. That is great. I know how excited Ryan Brochier is to talk about you and talk about your uh, your band members as well. And I believe he opened the show for you. He was very excited about that. He's a good guy, man. Good guy, great voice. You know, great writer. He's uh, he's got a good future. You know, I'm I'm proud of it. He's uh, he's working his tail off. You know, the guy's doing it the right way. He's, he's playing a lot of uh, low paying or no paying gigs just to get his name out there, and it's the right way. You know, there's something you learn by uh, by by what the old folks used to call paying your dues. I don't yeah. know what you'd call it nowadays, but paying your dues kind of seems like it's, it's but uh, it, you know, there's something to to be said about. Finding out who you are when you have nothing, and, and uh, building from there. You know, building something out of nothing, and and so uh, I did it. I know a lot of people that are very successful did it. You know, not everybody goes that way. Some people, you know, go go the different routes. You know, with talent shows or, or you know instant success somehow. But um, but there's like I said, there's some character that's built from having nothing, and uh, and building a grassroots within yourself basically, and and you know all of a sudden enjoying the fruits of your hard work over the years. And I think that's what he's doing. He's, he's got a good head on his shoulders, great guy, and uh, I'm proud that he's kind of starting to create this buzz about it. Yeah, he's got a great sound, and again, been here with us many times. He's actually going to be back here in April, um, right near, well, part of Thunder Country is Roscoe, which is known as uh, Trout Town, USA, uh, World Fishing Network's Ultimate Fishing Town, uh, a year or so back. And Ryan is going to be here for the ceremonial first cast, so we're looking to have him back here in April. But CRS, of course, is in February, and do me a favor. If you see him before Michelle and I do when we get to Nashville, he still owes me five bucks. Can you remind him about that? I, poor guy. Yeah. I'll try to remind him, sure, yeah. All right. Hey, Joe, we appreciate your time again. We're looking forward to you coming to Thunder Country, kicking it all off with Lady Annabellum and Billy Currington, part of the Eminem Auto Group Country Mega Ticket Series. And when you get to Bethel Woods, look for a guy, and you can't miss him, by the name of Duke. You tell him that uh, Silberto and Semerano said to show you around, and he'll give you a great tour of uh, of the facility of Bethel Woods. And uh, you know he he's got history of Woodstock. He's a gentleman who came here from Texas for for Woodstock in '69, and quite frankly, he never left. He's the site interpreter at Bethel Woods. He'll take good care of you. All right. Very nice. Appreciate it. I'll, I'll look for him. <laughs> All right. Look forward to seeing you in Nashville. And again, um, thank you for your time this morning. Thanks for being part of our show. And again, we're broadcasting from Bethel Woods. Can't wait for a little bit. But tickets go on sale 10 o'clock this morning. And uh, looking forward to Lady Annabelle and Billy Currington and Joe Nichols coming to Thunder Country. All the best to you. You too, you too guys. Thank you all very much.